Hi. We're going to continue our discussion of uh, GIMP and raw files with GIMP, uh, more specifically the raw therapy. And we're going to click on the raw therapy um, icon presented with the program in the flash screen. And what we're going to do is we're going to turn our history dialog on by pressing this H button and our file, log, file dialog on by pressing this F button. So I'm going to double click on this uh, Nikon RAW file, DI, or DSC 0025.nef. I'm going to turn off the history, turn off the file dialog, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to center this in the screen by hitting that button. First thing that I'm going to do here is um, take a look at the white balance. The white balance um, is it's calculated is uh, if we take a look here, we've got three ways of doing it. We can either do it camera, white balance. Um, we can do it auto, or we can do it custom. Okay, I would say about four thousand be about right for this image, which that appears about right. Our tint looks okay, but we could vary the tint if we wanted to. We can reset it with this button right here. Now what we're going to do here is, uh, let's say we think our white balance is pretty good here. So we're going to turn the white balance um, off and we're going to turn you know uh, the exposure dialog on. Now this looks um, perhaps properly it looks a little underexposed so what we're going to do is run this up to about there we're going to increase our exposure. In addition to that we're going to give it a tiny little bit of contrast. Okay so we popped out the contrast. And now um, our brightness, maybe just a slight increase in brightness. Now, if you want to see larger, um, if you want to see a larger graphical analysis of the histogram, you just double click on this and it will show you a larger graphical analysis. As we have discussed before, click each of these buttons to turn on and off your histograms. So this one is luminosity. Um, and turn that off. Here's your blue. Uh, here's your green. Here's your red. Now if it looks like the blue is clipped here, if we double click, that's actually the blue there. So we can turn the green on, the red on, and our luminosity. Okay, now there's several other sliders here. Highlight and shadow compression, uh, you can vary these sliders if you feel that compression is being lost in either the highlights or the shadows, and it should um, do a good job of possibly recovering it. Another thing that we can do here is if we want to, we can click on the detail box, and we can come down here, and we can say huge, and we can slide this detail box over onto portion of the image that we choose to uh, look at. So as we're adjusting the brightness and the contrast, now we can go over to the white balance. And if we want to, we can do a spot white balance where we click on that spot. You know, like let's say we want to click right on there. So what that's going to do is that's going to give us, by clicking spot and going to this gray area of the image, it will calculate a white balance based on that area of the image. Um, okay, so basically while you are working with these images, if you click on this, this will show you which shadows are clipped. So you can go back into your exposure, and these are very small areas of shadows that have been click, clipped. They're indicated by these white spots. Um, there's no adjustment necessary. 
But if you find that overexposure, oh wait a minute, underexposure is occurring, then you're going to get drastic clipping, and that's when you'd have to adjust it. So the darker the image is, the more the uh, dark areas are getting clipped. Now we can move this up, back up to about a 7.1 or 7.2, 7.7 maybe. And so that's going to show us where our uh, shadows are being clipped. This is going to show you where the highlights are being clipped. Now that is mainly sky, but what we might want to do is turn down our exposure slightly. until no clipping is really occurring in our highlight ranges. So now, shadow clipping on, shadow clipping off, highlight clipping, highlight clipping off. Um, okay, as I say again, the shadow compression, the highlight compression, those will uh, recover lost detail if lost detail is, if you feel lost detail is being um, experienced. Click on auto levels, it will make a best guess of what your level should be. And um, okay, we got we covered the tint, white balance, and whatever. I think that that kind of uh, wraps this video up. In the next video will go into some of these other areas. So this finishes uh, raw therapy video two. Thanks for watching.